Well, hey there, rock stars. Sarah Rock and Robbins here coming to you live for a prospecting pop up training in under 10 minutes. And um, today we're going to be talking about hashtag strategy. Does it still work? Is it still relevant in 2023? Plus, how you can use them not only to power up your posts, but to find your ideal prospects. It's how I built an international business with just one hashtag. But as we get started, let's get acquainted. Go ahead and share below who you are and where you're tuning in from. And as you introduce yourself, I'll introduce myself. I'm Sarah Robbins, a former kindergarten teacher turned one of network marketing's top leaders. Together with our team, we do over a billion dollars in sales every year, became a top recruiter in my company, number one recruiter overall ever since, and I share my best practices as to how in my best-selling book, Rock Your Network Marketing Business. Shout out if you've read it. I am also a coach in what side of one of the most supportive, collaborative communities in the network marketing industry called the Network Marketing Inner Circle. If you want coaching with me, collaboration, some of the best in the industry, make sure you check us out. We combine social media strategy with my network marketing system to help you rock your network marketing business. All right, for today's free training, we're going to be talking about hashtag strategy. Does it still work for your business in 2023? And if so, how? How do I use hashtags to not only have my content be found on social, but also to find my prospects as well? As I mentioned, I'm the top recruiter in my company. The majority of the leads I find online, but not only I find online, they come to me, and this is a big piece of the puzzle. I will say it's actually how I built an international business with just one hashtag. So first, let's address the question in terms of do hashtags work? The short answer is yes, but while it is a strategy, it's not the only strategy to use on social to have your content be seen. Some of you guys are joining me for my free upcoming five-day social media challenge, and we're gonna be talking about all of those ways. This is just one of the ways that's in a great list of how to increase your engagement and also to have new people find you on social and new followers are AKA potential customers. So make sure you plug into that. But a quick story of how I've used social media. So. I'll never forget building a business and um, we were opening up an international market and I'm thinking, gosh, I don't know any people there. I don't even know people there to ask for referrals. And I started just kind of doing social media with the strategy that I teach inside of my inner circle. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to put some hashtags on this as well. And it was my company name and the country that we were launching into. And it was so neat because, again, it wasn't just the hashtag. It was the strategy behind the post that I'm teaching in the challenge as well that caused her to actually stop the scroll as she was searching for um, opportunity, as she was searching for our company, as she was searching in that country. She actually found my post and said, hey, I saw you posting about this. By the way, she didn't know I was the top leader. She didn't know I was the top recruiter. She just found this post that caught her eye with all the strategy that we teach inside of the inner circle. And she happened to search for that key term, which was the hashtag that I use in one of my posts. Now, how should you be posting hashtags? How many? Where should you place them, et cetera? There is an actual science and strategy to it. So if you're not registered for a challenge, which I'll tell you about in a minute, you want to make sure that you do, okay? Because I don't want you to just hear this and go, okay, well, now I'm going to go out and try this and then say, well, this didn't work because I'll actually teach you how. The moral of the story is this. She found my posts because of a hashtag. And because I had created a post that would perform not only well with my audience, but also in the algorithm, that content was seen by her. Somebody who was not following me and did not know me on social media. And that was the start to launching my business in a brand new country. There's other ways that I use hashtags as well. One of the other ways that I use hashtags is actually to find my ideal prospects. So how do I find my ideal prospects? By searching out the hashtag within my industry. So let's say, for example, you're in skincare. You can search key terms. Again, I'll tell you where to find them. I'll tell you actually where to search for them. So if you're not in the challenge, make sure you're a part of it. But I started following certain hashtags, so anti-aging, skincare, esthetician. And I was finding other people who were using these keywords in their posts, in their captions, or as hashtags to start to network with online. 
Now, let me just say this. You're not looking to recruit other people in network marketing, right? We, we're not coaching people who are in a business. They're in a business because they want to grow their business. But finding people within that industry. So again, maybe you're in skincare and that's an esthetician. Maybe you're in health and wellness and that's a nutritionist. Maybe you have hair products and maybe that's a hairstylist, et cetera. So finding people in my niche that I could talk about leveraging their network, right? Monetizing their network and growing a business and brand in part-time hours. So powerful. So again, the majority of my leads have come online and the majority of those have come to me. And that's all because I've created posts that perform well with the audience. So it's engaging to them every day. I'm thinking, how do I make their lives easier and better? But also it performs well in the algorithm, which means not only is social media showing this content to people that follow me, but it's showing it to new people as well who'd make excellent customers or business partners for me. So if you're feeling it all like, man, I'm stuck on this or I want the strategy on it, Sarah, here's the thing. I do this once a year is a way to give back to the profession that has tremendously blessed our family and our life and allowed us to leave legacy in the lives of other people. Every year, if you follow me for a while, you know that I don't leave any stone unturned. It's not here for the next, I'm going to give you seven tips and for the next three, you got to buy this. Nope. I give, I exceed your expectation, give you more than what you came from. It is called a Rock Your Business Challenge, and you can learn more or register for free at rockyourbusinesschallenge.com. It's a five-day challenge that's being held January 23rd through the 27th at 4 p.m. Pacific time, where in five days you learn five ways to rock your network marketing business online, and here's the guarantee I can give. These five days can do more for your business as it relates to social media marketing for network marketing than any other if you are live, on time, cameras on, distractions off, ready to rock this. So let me tell you a little bit more about it, who it's for. Anyone in network marketing, you and your teams are welcomed. Any level on social media will help you to level up. This is going to give you the latest, most up-to-date social media strategy to increase your sales and sponsoring online. Again, we do it once a year and we're doing all new strategy for 2023. Some of you are building your business on something you learned three months ago or a year ago and social media is changing all the time. Again, it's how I get all of my leads and I'm going to teach you exactly how. Day one, we're going to go through your bio. This is a prime piece of real estate. And if it's not working for you, we need to make it work because it's the number one place when they find that viral post that they say, should I follow this chick? Should I try, buy, learn more? I've had people purchase and join my team just because of what's in my bio. Day two, power posts. If you're wondering, again, what we're talking about today, post that perform with your audience and in the algorithm. Don't let that scare you. We're going to make actually simplify that. That just means if I'm going to post something and want people to actually see it, not only the people who follow me, but new people as well. That's how to do it. And by the way, you'll love my style. I call it super simple Sarah style. We'll make it simple for you. Day three, we're going to talk about captions. So the strategy we talked about today, hashtags as well. Day four is going to be on all forms of video. So live video and virtual, not to mention how to sell in stories, which by the way, is the only place you should be selling, but we won't do it by selling up in your stories. And I'll teach you what I mean. On day four, day five is all on reels to rock your network marketing business. Still one of the top ways to grow now being promoted on Facebook. So if you're new to my challenge and you want to register for this round, remember it's different than the ones before because it's all new strategy. It's rockyourbusinesschallenge.com. Um, now here's a couple things that I want to share with you. First and foremost, it's totally free. There's an option upgrade. I do recommend it. And here's why. First of all, it's inexpensive. Second of all, especially for what you're getting, you're going to get all of the replays so you can watch on demand, which a, a skill set like this is something you're going to want to go back and revisit. The next thing is you get implementation to follow the live training. So you don't get stuck. So maybe you're like, man, I really want to walk through making this you know, story together, or leveraging the sticker you talked about, et cetera. We actually walk through it with you right after the live session. So it doesn't go on to a to-do list. Now, I do ask one thing of you, be live and on time, just like I am, prioritize this, build around it, plan around it. The thing we find is those who are on live, they implement faster, and of course, they have the best results. Cameras on, distractions off, ready to rock this, 
And remember, each day builds upon the previous, so you don't want to miss one. So prioritize it. These five days can do more for your business than any other. So what do I do now? Win, W-I-N, what's important now? Number one, register for this round. Number two, share this video on a team page or in the inbox with a friend. The more who know, the greater your business will grow this year. And number three, find a challenge buddy. Somebody to say, hey, let's register together, do this together, and hold each other accountable. Now, if you can do me a favor, our platform is almost full, so we need to kind of see where we're at. If you anticipate on registering this round, do ahead, go ahead and do me a favor and um, put RSVP in the comments below, okay? Head over to rockyourbusinesschallenge.com. Who will I see there? I hope so. It's going to be incredible. Have a great day, guys. God bless. Goodbye for now and rock.